Hello, hello everybody, I know what you're thinking. How is this episode out so early? Well, it's because I recorded this right after. Duh! I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you. I didn't mean to say duh like that. Um, I want to start getting through the other areas of the game, though. And I need to do this while you guys are watching. You know, because that's, that's what's let's play like this. So, for anyone who's following along, to which case, I give you immense credit. I don't update this nearly as much as I should, and you guys just, I, I'm so awesome. Um, but yeah, for anyone who's following me along, following along with me, or for anyone who's, um, hang on, there we go. Just general, for anyone who's playing at this point, and you've gotten up to this point, uh, we, oh, okay, who are you? Oh, okay. No, that's cool. I don't want to be your friends anyway. Ugh, I forgot about you. And I don't have my weapons equipped. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't do a heroic. See, the obvious way to deal with these guys is shoot in the gut. His face. And then just let the poison do its work. Oh, don't let that hit touch you. I got hit by that once in the beginning of the game when I was... Well, I have gotten hit by that move, like, at least twice. Yeah, time to show you guys why the Dragon Slayer Spear has been, uh, pretty much a favorite weapon of mine. That reach. Oh my god, I wish I had been recording, but, uh... Yeah, there came a point yesterday where I was going through some PvP stuff, right? I'm like, oh, we're all going through PvP stuff, nothing really interesting there. Actually, I had some pretty good matches. Um... I had one match where it was relatively straightforward. Uh, went over to the guy, smacked him a few times with the bandit axe, and he died. Plain and simple. But then, oh, actually, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Produce a symbol of the king. I will produce a symbol of I don't care. Honestly, I really disagree with how the ring is like, you have to wear the damn thing. I think just having it in your inventory should unlock these doors, but that's me, and apparently these things work differently, and I can just still do this, and it'll be like, oh, shit, he actually doesn't have it. Well, fuck. Okay. I'm ready for what you're gonna throw at me now, game. You ain't gonna get the best of me, not so re. I'm going to grab all these things, and you're not going to stop me. Oh, I bet if I Dragon Ball, I can start working on other weapons. Can't reach. Can't reach. Need to kill fast. Oh, God. Okay. We're good now. We're safe now. Um, for those of you who don't know, these dogs can do what's known as Petrify. Petrify is possibly the easiest way to lose at least a little more than half your health bar. Eh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Gotcha. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hang on. I think my eyes stuff betrayed me. No, 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 it didn't, they didn't betray. They were riding the money. I mean, I guess it is kind of dumb to receive the same weapon twice, but... Yeah. Oh! Right, finally, okay. So for those of you who remember, I actually went through her storyline. Again, things were a little bit different in this game for the simple fact that I had to actually, uh, I had to use her in de definitely for one of my fights because, uh, I couldn't find her sign for one of the other ones. So, this is her conclusion. With Lucatil, it ends here. This is where you stop seeing her. This is where her signs stop. Who are you? 
your journey. I know not what you seek in this far away land, but I pray for your safety. Please take these. And this is your reward if you've done everything right with her, and that is going to talk to her each time, uh, summoning her for three of the four boss fights you can summon her for, and having her survive all the boss fights. Consider this thanks keeping me safe. She actually, and her set's really cool looking. I love, I love it. I wish I could make a proper spot for it. Um, a little bit of a fun fact, it's part of her set that I actually used for the first time when I defeated Vendrick by myself for the first time. And this was in, uh, for Dark Souls 2 Vanilla on PC, and yeah. My name is Lucatil. I beg of you, remember my name. For I may not myself. My name is... I beg of... For I... And this is her... This is where her story ends. It is very tragic if you think about it. And much like the rest of the game, it's very grim and dark. And unlike another... And unlike Benhart, who we met a while back... Her journey is much more tragic because unlike Ben Hart, who's just seeking to perfect his swordsmanship, Lucatil came here looking for her brother and discovered he might have been lost to this and then lost herself to it, the curse now claiming her. And I have to admit, I got a little bit choked up the first time I discovered this was her end and that I didn't do everything right with her the very first time I played the game, I believe on Xbox. Um... Now I'm going to show you the path I normally take. And this is risky of me. But I want... Ah, uh, no, not there. Guy, what are you doing? Eh, this is what happens. This is what happens when Heroic uh, has not slept. I've been playing Dark Souls for you guys. Well, not for you guys. I'm playing it for me. It's because it's fun. It's fun even when I get angry. Because surprisingly, when I get angry, I have more fun. And there's not a sign to be found. Holy balls. First of all, do you guys come alive? Okay, you do. Hey, buddy. Let's be up your back. What about you? Hang on. Huh. Symbol of the king. And the door unlocks. Now, I honestly recommend you do this first. When you get the king's ring. Uh, if I can't find people, because, uh, well, I don't have actually that many souls to work. Oh, of course I'm not going to find people. I'm a ditz. Yeah, let's go back and check here now. Yep, there's a sign. And we're gonna go invite Sola here. We're also gonna stand right at the door, so, uh, don't close. Gonna wait for Sola. Hi, Sola! Ooh, you're a mage, too. We're gonna go on an adventure. Let's go! Now... I have to say this and clarify this because much like, um, well, if you guys know Vadi's channel, who I, <laughs> I believe I've sung enough praises about Sunlight Blade and Vadi's channels enough. Um, <laughs> these, those two guys, uh, besides Vadi encouraging the fan base to create content like that Lucatil song I remember hearing, uh, the The End song for Dark Souls 2, and of course introducing me to Tanuki Suit via that w their one music, the music video he made with their song Lord Vessel, which of course, as those of you who have been watching know, the the end is my ending theme, and the beginning is my opening theme for my Dark Souls episodes. But yeah, it's actually ahead, guys. I'm kidding. 
Now, here's where Ben Hart's journey can possibly aid you or hinder you. Ben Hart has numerous summon paths as well. But, again, we'll get to this after we get into this boss fight. Now, I believe the one I want to be attacking is the Defender. And also, I'm going to want the Throne... I'm going to want the Watchers... Oh, and, <laughs> so, again, you're going to want to attack them both, but you're going to want to attack the one who your weapon will affect the most. Now, with the Watcher, she has the shield, and that shield is, oh, so crazy powerful. She also has the backflip from Dark Souls 1, so you know, that's fair. Now, this boss fight's important because... Like Vadi has said about it, it's no there's no rhyme or reason to their strikes. They're just random. They're random strikes that happen at random times. And they both they don't have a pattern to them. Orantine and Small, they kind of did have a pattern to them. They went Okay, I need you guys to kind of uh They they figured out who's the who's the Okay. Okay. Sip, sip, sippy, sip. I just used up four Estus. But yes, they're just literally a tank and spank type of engagement. And that's not very fun. Even worse, they can resurrect one another. But they didn't do that here, so we're fine. Don't worry, guys, it was all me. It was all me. Thank you, Sola. <laughs> You're gonna have to be the MVP for this one. Cause I clearly wasn't. <laughs> I tried. You can't fault me for not trying. Oh, you can do that actually. Anyway, this is where this fight ends for now. If you choose to do this fight at the right time, it leads right into the next fight, which is with Nasandra. Now, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but that is the last boss. Well, that is kind of a spoiler, but. That boss fight is a thousand more times difficult, I believe, when you have to fight Nassandra afterwards. Because, again, I have four Estus left, and my weapon's gone down some durability points. And if I had used my weapon's special ability, well, I would have gone down even more points. But this is also a way that you can use the game to basically get in another summon for Ben Hart. Um, besides, actually, the way that the DLC allows you to do, which is you can summon him for another fight. But again, we'll get into that later. And with these two gone, you can actually breathe a little bit easier knowing that they're gone. Because now you don't have to worry about, well, again, having to fight them. This boss fight's over. It's done. And if you're like me, and you didn't know <laughs> that's where the last boss fight was, you'll be shocked to discover when you go back there later, well, actually, when you go back to Majula, well, that their stuff is for sale. And actually, if I remember correctly... You... what? Yeah... So now comes the crossroads for Heroic. No interest. Personally, I'm going to go start upgrading. I'm going to go buy some more armor. Mostly because I like mix and matching. It's very fun. You need up. So as you can see, I've been very, very lazy with uh, collecting armor pieces. Oh, I do love Velstad's set, though. I love all these sets. I just don't like certain pieces. Are you sure? I also have their souls, which I believe we used all of them at Ornflex. Who I again I unlocked the shortcut to her. Uh, while offline. But again, I'm also going to get those weapons while not on camera. But thank you guys for joining me for another episode. We got two big bosses out the way. Velstad and the Throne. Defender and Watcher. Or I guess we could just call them the Thrones. But again, I'm going to probably grind those for a little bit just to ensure that I have some souls and, you know, do more. I'm able to do more. But until then, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Wish me luck. Praise the sun.
and I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you again. Later.